Hello Aries, welcome to Soul Vibin'. Back with another tarot card reading here for you. Aries, I'm so excited to get into your tarot card reading. This is going to be for September. Full moon energy, so we're tapping into your energy now. What's going on with Aries at this moment in time? Wow. Back of the deck energy is peace. I am being I am being of love, and I really saw a negative energy. Okay, so try to find that peace uh, within chaos, within... Um, and within yourself, of course. But with abundance here, I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. So there's definitely a lot of abundance around you. I feel like you're going to have to tap into it because the peace card more so talks about finding the peace amongst like kind of chaos or feeling out of the element of peace. But I do feel like if you're able to switch your energy around, you're going to find that you're actually really abundant. And this is going to attract more abundance to you, Aries. So that's just a tip for you. All right. But I do feel like you're really abundant, like you're doing good, you're feeling good, or you should be because you also get this beautiful card, which is the animal. Okay. You get number 19, um, which is adds up to 10, which is one. So you're ending a cycle, beginning a new one. And I definitely feel like with this animal card here, this is feeling alive. This is doing things that make you feel um, either abundant. Okay, so maybe like you're, you could be spending money. You can be doing things that are out of your elements but are making you feel really good. Um, if you're not feeling this way right now um, and you're feeling the opposite or the, the dark energy of this card, which is feeling feelings of like lashing out on people, acting wildly okay or just being like almost frustrated but a little bit more dense energy i feel like that's because you gotta like try to try to find some peace and clarity so you can channel this beautiful um energy and abundance that's trying to come your way all right so let's go ahead and uh, tap into tarot shall we so this is for aries sun moon rising venus north node what's going on and you can always watch any of my readings i've always said this um, if you're drawn to another reading and you don't have that in your chart, I feel like it's for a reason. Go ahead and watch it. It might resonate with you. Let's go ahead and tap in Aries. What's going on with Aries? What, what, do I need, what do I need to know about Aries at this moment in time? No, I'm not taking reversals. Here we go. Judgment card. Okay. So somebody could be judging you. You can be judging someone. Okay. This can be God or spiritually as well. But we'll go, go ahead and tap tap in just a little bit more uh, but this is also like rising above the negative energy okay guys so if somebody if you feel like you're being judged by somebody and this is making you feel like you need to lash out or say something to someone i i feel like if you're able to like rise above all these birds you're not a bird you're a goddamn eagle or like you're like a rare bird you know what i mean <laughs> so you gotta rise above that shit because these people these negative energies, basically, let's just call them negative energies. They're really not worth your shine, girl. Like, you just got to brush it off. <laughs> okay, but you are definitely achieving some type, some type of achievement here with the judgment card. Um, I feel like this is like recognition, all right? A lot of recognition around you, all right? I feel like everything's going to be going a lot better for you here the next few days or around the full moon. It's when things are going to get a lot better for you if you haven't been feeling that way. But with the judgment card and the sun, this is really powerful energy, I do want to say. Wow. No freaking way. Look at that. The sun card, the star card popped out. But too many cards came out. I don't, I don't feel like taking these even though I'm being told, yes, you should take them. But <laughs> I just... I feel like they came out when I was talking and I just don't feel like I can go with the flow of it. So with the sun card here, I feel like it, it is some type of recognition, okay? So you're being told to prepare yourself because it's going to like basically like astonish you. It's almost like it's going to blow you out of the water in some type of way because there's so much like abundance around you. And that's definitely how I see you. I see you as like you've been working past your fears. You've been working past your like um, your own emotions and your own, um, you've been working on your healing. And I feel like this is something that has really uh, propelled you forward in the perfect direction. So I feel like even the best is around the corner, to be honest with you, even though this is really good energy, I feel like there's just so much more to come for you. So much more abundance and you're going to be feeling the energy of it first. You're not going to see it physically. So you're going to feel the energy of it first and then that's when it's going to start to show up in your life. 
and you're just going to be like, oh my God, you're going to be amazed. Okay. Yes, you have been very brave and you have chosen um, the path of light, I guess I should say. So if you manage to channel the energy that I told you about in the beginning, where you go from lashing out to lashing out on people, you know, feeling kind of like you're being judged. If you manage, manage to just switch your energy around and feel alive, feel, feel like that wind in your, like, it's kind of like when you dive into a really cold water or really cold water, like river water, not pool water. I'm talking about river water where it's really cold and you really feel that intense moment and you're like, oh my God, I'm like, you feel alive, right? That's what the animal archetype is all about. So I definitely feel like if you manage to just feel for one second, this present moment in time, what you're doing, what you're smelling, feeling like you're just going to realize how much abundance you have around you. And then boom, it's like your energy is going to start to shift from there and you're going to attract more of this abundance. And let me tell you, it's nothing small. So here with the chariot, the judgment and um, the sun card is this is beautiful, you guys. So Aries, I haven't seen a reading like this for you in quite some time. So I really love this energy for you. The chariot is the card of moving forward uh, with bravery okay and the sun card talks about achievements uh it talks about succeeding it talks about healing healing in a child as well some of you have um air in your chart I'm, I'm being told that you're an air sun actually for some of you um so here we get so you're gonna start to feel like i said it's little by little but here with the hangman this is all about enlightenment for some of you guys yes you're gonna hear some type of truth from someone that may have some type of call, you're going to receive some type of call, okay? You may be waiting on this. Uh, for some of you, you've been waiting for this moment for a very long time. Spiritually, um, on a spiritual ascension, if this is you, I feel like you're about to reach enlightenment, all right? You're going to be blessed. Let me, t let me just tell you, just be patient, okay? Find a moment to connect with um, your consciousness, with meditating, you know, um, this is Christ consciousness at a, a certain level to me. So I feel like if you're, if you manage to do that at this moment in time, you're just really going to, you're going to be blown out of the water. Let me just tell you, this is amazing. Like I, I haven't felt this type of energy in quite some time, Aries. And I feel like you have something just really beautiful coming your way. If you manage to let go of kind of what makes you stand on edge is what I want to say. And find that peace, that balance, that clarity. All right. Take a moment to rest. Take a moment to breathe before you uh, speak or come up to others. Take a moment to kind of uh, slow down before you make some type of decision here as well. Okay. Take a moment for that. Like think about, think about what, what it is that you want as well. I feel like things are happening very quickly for you, even though there's no rush here because it's, it's almost like you've been waiting for this your whole life and the universe is conspiring to give you all this abundance and there's just a little bit more work that you have to do. It's just a little bit. Okay, it's not too much. But if you manage to meditate and take some time out for yourself and maybe count the blessings, you know, um, connect with the spirit realm, your higher self, whatever it is for you, I feel like you're just going to find something that you've never tapped into before I guess that's what I'm getting so here's the nine of pentacles this is abundance you guys tremendous abundance you have the nine ten of pentacles abundance here so you're going to start to feel a lot more in the present moment okay basically enjoying life as it is like you're just I don't know Aries this is so beautiful I love this <laughs> I love this uh I'm an Aries right now you know uh yeah see like the 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 work you've put in to whatever this is. Okay, this can be a job that you've been working at for so many years and you're finally going to get that raise, that promotion that you've been wanting. That's definitely uh, something I see here as well. This can be that date. Um, I don't feel like it's love, to be quite honest with you, but abundance can come in so many ways that it can be possibly love. Okay, someone that you've been waiting for for a very long time is going to come to the forefront. Okay, this is something that you've wanted though. The judgment card is here. So this can be a Taurus coming back into your life for some of you or a Pisces. But um, aside from that, I just feel like whatever this is 
coming your way, Aries. It is just absolutely beautiful. Like you're just going to feel it energetically before it comes. You will feel it. Trust me. But you got to do that little bit of inner work that, you know, you got to put in that little extra work that's going to set you aside from the other people at your job or who's, that's going to set you aside um, and make you stand out or make that energy shift. Okay. So let's go ahead and pull out a mermaid oracle. Let's see. So Aries, let's find around Aries, please. Mermaid Oracle for Aries. Strength. Stay afloat and feel steady and calm. And then I just saw number 1044. Please either look up the number of 144. Okay, that's a very important number. Look up, and I just heard a little bell. Oh my God. Oh my God, well, whatever that bell came from, let me just tell you, okay? It's the, the bell, it's like a sign from your spirit guides. Um, number 144 is a spiritual number, so look up the number 144 or even 1044, okay? Angel number 1044. So let's go ahead and pull out a self-care oracle card for you. Self-care oracle card for Aries, please. So nourish your temple. This is very important right now. Eating very healthy, okay, I guess, to take care of your stomach, your health. Uh, you're also, when you get intuitive uh, nudges, it's, for some of you, they come through uh, with your stomach, okay? They come through from your stomach or like your root. It's in between your root chakra, your sacral chakra, and your solar plexus chakra, okay? Somewhere in between there. Here we get connect with fire. This is about like, doing things around fire, okay? Um, lighting a candle to set an intention, I guess that's what I'm getting. And then be still. Remember that meditating thing we got again. So you gotta really find that time, okay, to connect with your with what lights your fire, with what lights your passion, or just to be still and find that peace of mind, that clarity, okay? Because there's a ton of abundance that's basically coming your way but it's not like it's slowed down. It's not. It's going to come to you regardless. But you do have to do that little bit of inner work, that little bit of, you know, staying positive kind of energy, you know. Um, but you are it, you are going through something very spiritual as well. So let's go ahead and pull out your monology cards to see the vibe for the new moon. New moon energy for Aries, please. What's going on with Aries? What does Aries need to know? What else does Aries need to know? You and your loved ones are safe. I love that. And have faith in your dreams. For some of you, this does have to do with something that you've been wanting for a very long time. Maybe since you were very young. Okay, I'm getting very young spirits here as well. Like I'm also getting... Um, mature spirits, someone who's been through a lot very young or someone who's been through a lot at a very young age or someone who's just like ready for that big major change in their life. Um, if you're reading this and it resonates, I feel like you've been feeling this energy already. So have faith in your dreams and you and your loved ones are safe, okay? Cancer energy here twice as well. So we are in the waxing crescent moon, I feel feel like um, either we still are or we just were a couple days ago for sure. Um, but you'll know if you look up the moon calendar. Um, so let's go ahead and pull out one of these cards. And that was pretty quick. I'm going to go ahead and take it. The Great Gathering. It's all coming together. Intuitive hits, soul tribe. So yeah, this is about like you coming together with your soul tribe for some of you. And uh, the intuitive hits, again, it, your body tells you when something feels right and something doesn't feel right for some of you yes you get tingles or you get your obviously your heart thumping but it's far more than that for some of you this is a feeling in your left leg or in another in your other leg whatever it is 
And some of you guys, yes, of course, you are star seeds. So you got to kind of take a moment, a time out to figure out what lights you up. Just like I was saying, like, what lights you up? What are your passions? Like, head in that direction, okay? This is like a call to action, basically. A call to action, a call to do something, to change your energy, to uh, align yourself, and to be prepared for something much greater and much bigger for you. Let's go ahead and pull out one of these cards, Aries, and end your reading there. What does Aries need to release at this moment in time? What does Aries need to release? Clear guidance, surrender worry. Make a commitment to not lead an anxiety-driven life. When worries arise, breathe them out of your body. Focus on the power of your heart and have faith that spirit is guiding you always. This is a very beautiful card to get, Aries, and I wish you nothing but abundance, nothing but healing energy and positive energy. I'll see you guys at your next reading or your other signs. Bye for now.